Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today I want to unbox the IGES Rebel robot. We're going to talk about the scope of delivery, the plugging and mounting of the robot and we're going to also take a look at the specialities and technical details on it. Then we're going to dive right into the IGES robot control, the IRC, plugging the IRC in, making it run and work and some first movements and afterwards you see some interesting applications to give you an idea what our Rebel is capable of. Let's dive right into it and let me get into our automation lab. So, let's get right into it and unpack the Rebel. Push the handles in, lift it up a bit, push it out fully, rotate it in and get the sleeve off to the side. So, once you open it, you find every piece of hardware in here that you need to let the Rebel run. First, some documentation, a little uh, quick startup sheet, which we will look into later. You got your power supply, power supply module, including all the cables you need, and another sticker. And of course, you got the robot itself. You see, easy to handle, lightweight. We can put that aside for now. And what you, in addition, get as well, is the emergency stop button with the cable and everything else. And the last bit and piece is the right cable to connect to your power supply module. In addition, you get this three and a half foot long Ethernet cable to plug it into your computer to plug it directly to the Rebel. Yeah, let's mount the Rebel. Let me get that box out of the way first. And this little cable as well. What I have brought as well is a mounting plate, which you can get from us, which is not included in the packaging, but I will use it for now to get it down on the table. First things first, clamp it down. And now put the Rebel on, Rebel on top. We deliver in a full scope, so you get six screws with it as well. I will use an Allen key to screw it down. It's M6 screws, so I need a size five. Let me quickly get that in. Last screw secured. So, the Rebel is now mounted. Next thing is plugging it in. First things first, safety. So the first thing is you want to plug in is the emergency stop button. It has a nice M84 pin connector, which just goes into the back of the Rebel in the base. Just plug it in and screw it in. Second thing, so the whole robot can work, is you need the power supply itself. So we just quickly unpack it and same as before with the emergency stop, just plug it in and make it work. So you got this six pin connector here and same as before, it goes in the back of the rubble right next to the emergency stop button. So last things last, power cord. This, of course, will be delivered with an American outlet and the right connector to fit in the power supply module. Fit this in, fit this in a connector, and the Rebel is ready and set up to go. Before we get to power on the whole robot, let me talk about some specialities it brings. So first of all, in the base sits the whole controller. So as you've seen before on the back, we got all our connection points for the emergency stop, for the power supply, and we got seven digital inputs and outputs for start and stop buttons, function buttons, digital I.O. communication with your machine, and outputs can be used as feedback for, to your PLC or your machine, or for example, for uh, lamps, LED indication lamps. Yeah, every orange ring on this robot is a joint. So this is the six degree of freedom, six DOF version, six orange rings, six joints. We also got a four and a five DOF version. Another thing about the joints, the motor and the motor controller sits in this compact space here. So it's not only the gear sits, also the motor and the motor controller and the brake, so the whole joint can function on its own and is also available as a standalone version. Additionally to that, on the fourth axis up here, there is another M88 pin connector with two additional inputs and two outputs, ground and 24 volts, to supply your tool you will put on the TCP, the tool center point. I want to now get into starting up this robot. So first things first, we need our Ethernet cable to connect. It happened to be that I do have a tablet, a Windows Surface. You can use any Windows-based PC, 10 or 11 as you want. 
and we power this robot up. So on the back of the robot again, we have Ethernet port, you just plug it in and then plug it in the Ethernet port of your computer. This robot control which is used to control the Rebel also has a Wi-Fi functionality but for the first initial start you need an Ethernet connection. Okay, once that's set, we can press the start button on the back and the robot powers on. So first you will hear a little click, um, you will hear a little vent going on and once we have the robot running and starting after it's finished booting, pretty quick, 10-20 seconds, um, we are good to go. We're now connected and the robot is in the perfect state. It says e-stop, so everything is red. The robot can't run because we now need to initially start it. So first thing is undo the e-stop button. You hear a little click once that happens. Then press the reset button. You hear another click. And once you press start, or you press enable, you hear multiple clicks because all the brakes in the different joints will release and the robot will have its first initial alignment of the rotors in the joints. Referencing sequence is done. You see that here in the picture, now it's referenced. You hit reset again, you, hear, you hit enable again, you hear it click again, and now the robot is good and can run. So I will just hover over the fifth axis over here, up here in the software to just test a little if the robot moves as the software does behave. And if you're wondering how I'm doing it, I'm hovering over the joint, it gets marked, pressing the left mouse button, dragging it down. You could also go to jogging and play here with these buttons if you prefer so. So first of all, I wanna make sure I start with the smallest joint that can't really harm me. Maybe you can also use axis six, but this is kinda hard for me right now to see. So I will use my hands on top of it and it rotates as well. I just want to make sure every joint is functioning. Do the same with joint four. And I also make sure visually the simulation is the same as the real one, which it does. Okay, these function, now I go to axis three, try to relocate the axis three. I do the same with two, which works perfectly. And I do the same with axis one, which works great. Now that we know that all the joints are running, let us just program some small movements. You press on edit. Then the program editor opens up and what we can do with the right mouse button, you can move the robot over to the left and what we then can do is just pr press on action, press on joint motion and the actual positions of the robot will be copied in this movement position. So what I will do now, I will just move the robot over here, I will move this axis a bit, move this further down, try to move the fourth axis. Let me just quickly rotate, oh, no, not reset, don't click that. Let me press rotate pretty quick so I can have a better view on the robot arm. And let's just move this axis down a bit. I press now J on the keyboard to implement a joint movement so I don't have to click on action and joint motion. And let me just do a third movement, maybe just realign the sixth axis a bit and then give it a little rotate to the left. Press J again, now we're good. I saved this program and I named that Rebel Test. Press Enter and it automatically loaded in. If it's not loaded, you press on Load. Select the program you want to load, which is this. We just did it. Press Open and you're good to go. So now if I press Play, the robot moves to the designated positions and this little white dot here Maybe it's a black dot with you, indicates where the robot will move next. Thank you for tuning in on this brief overview on the Rebel robot, on the unpacking and everything else we covered. If you want to know more about our Rebel or our other products, feel free to look at rbtx.com and anigus.com. We have a free of charge consultant service. Just book your appointment and we can talk about your application. Now we just have some application videos we already done, some ideas how to use that Rebel. So stay tuned and see you next time. Thanks.